Thanks so much to Phoenix Cases for sponsoring this video. Qualcomm recently announced its latest mobile chipset, the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2, which is the company's top tier processor for mid-range phones. But what makes this new chip so good? Let's find out. Looking at the CPU specs, it's not hard to see why the 7 Plus Gen 2 is a major leap forward for Qualcomm's 7 Series chips. The new processor sports one prime Cortex-X2 core clocked at 2.91 GHz, three Cortex-A710 cores clocked at 2.49 GHz, and four Cortex-A510 cores at 1.8 GHz. All of this means that the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 is going to offer better overall performance and power efficiency, especially when you compare the new chip to the Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 or against an unnamed competitor's product. Although to be honest, it's likely that this unnamed competitor's product is actually the MediaTek Dimensity 8100 or 8200. But enough about specs, let's see how the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 performs in benchmarks. Now in order to obtain our results, the benchmarks were run on Qualcomm's reference device, which is basically a prototype smartphone meant for internal testing. Highlight specs of the reference device include a 6.65-inch, 144Hz FHD Plus OLED screen, 12GB of memory, 256GB of storage, and a 4,912mAh battery. Also, the phone does not have an active cooling system, such as a fan. And while you may not be able to buy Qualcomm's reference devices, there are plenty of other smartphones out there you can buy. And if you need an ultra-slim, low-profile case to protect your own phone, check out Phoenix Cases. Link in the description below, and don't forget to use our promo code AA15 for 15% off your order. Now back to the benchmarks. Looking at our results in Geekbench 5, the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 performs just about as well as expected. It's definitely not the top dog of CPU benchmarks, as that is reserved for the higher-end Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. However, the 7 Plus Gen 2 still performs close to the 8 Plus Gen 1 chip, and edges out the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, Exynos 2200, Tensor G2, and the Snapdragon 778G+. On the GPU side of things, Qualcomm claims that the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 enjoys a two-fold performance boost over the Snapdragon 7 Gen 1. But when you compare the 7 Plus Gen 2 to other flagship level silicon, you'll see that the 7 Plus Gen 2 falls behind even the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Although to be honest, this was to be expected, since mid-range chipsets usually suffer in the GPU department compared to their flagship counterparts. Fortunately, the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 manages a similar score to the Exynos 2200, while also beating out the GPUs found on the Tensor G2 and Snapdragon 778G Plus chipsets. Now, we also tested the new chip under sustained loads, and the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 displays a rock-solid stability of 99.76%. This means that when put under extended stress, Qualcomm's latest chip using the reference device can beat out the S22 Ultra, which is equipped with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. What all of this benchmarking data tells us is this. The Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 may not perform like a flagship chipset. However, its impressive CPU performance and stability during stress tests mean that the processor should provide more than enough processing power for upcoming mid-tier phones, all while beating out Samsung and Google's own processors and benchmarks. Now, beyond performance, the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 boasts a plethora of new features. For example, the new chip brings several gaming-related additions, such as auto variable rate shading, the Adreno Frame Motion Engine for frame interpolation, volumetric rendering, and AI-based super resolution. There are also improvements to machine learning capabilities, such as a two-fold boost for AI performance over the Snapdragon 7 Gen 1, 40% better AI performance per watt, and a three-fold boost over the unnamed competition. Now, there are plenty of other great feature additions and improvements coming with the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2, and you can find more in our full article on AndroidAuthority.com. But some of the highlight additions include an 18-bit image signal processor, 200 megapixel camera support, 4K HDR recording with triple exposure, mega low-light capture, aptX lossless audio, and support for Wi-Fi 6E. Now, if you're excited to get your hands on a 7 Plus Gen 2 enabled phone, you won't have to wait long. Qualcomm confirmed that the first commercial devices with the new silicon will launch this month, with brands like Redmi and Realme expected to launch phones featuring the 7 Plus Gen 2. Qualcomm has also noted that it expects phones with the new processor to cost between 400 to 600 US dollars. But what do you think of the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2? Are you excited about the new chip? Let us know in the comments down below. While you're down there, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we upload next. Thanks again to Phoenix Cases for sponsoring this video. I'm Harley Moreno with Android Authority, and I will see you in the next one.